Hey guys, John here. Welcome to the course, How to Use Diva. This is the first video and really the first question we should be asking ourselves is why Diva? With all the soft scents out there, why should we pick this one right here? Now, first things first, when I first got this and I put this in my computer and I started playing some notes, I almost fell out of my chair because it sounded so good to me. I was like, this is crazy. How can a soft synth sound this good? That was the number one selling point for me. Now, moving on from that, once you kind of research a little bit more, or maybe you already know this, but Diva comes with essentially five different synths in one because all these different panels can be swapped out with different emulations. So by default, you know, if we hit right click this and go to init preset, this is the screen that we're greeted with. Now, this is going to be the triple VCO. You can always go to dual VCO and scroll down with the mouse wheel, which is a very cool function, and we'll get more into that later. But then there's DCO, there's dual VCO eco, there's the digital oscillator, and there's the same kind of thing with the high pass frequency or the high pass filters. And then the low pass, you have the ladder, cascade, multi-mode, byte, which I think bites my personal favorite because it's like the MS-20 and I just love the way that filter sounds. And then there's the UHBIE or Hubi, I don't really know the proper pronunciation of that, but that goes without being said, you have a lot of different modules that you can mix and match. So at the very minimum, you get five different synths, but then you kind of go over here with a triple VCO, and then you can pair that with a byte filter and see what that sounds like. So that's a really cool concept. Not to mention you get the three different types of envelopes, the attack to case sustain, the ADS envelope, the analog, and then the digital down over here. And then moving on from the bottom panels over here, we have two LFOs over down here. Then we have our tuning, which we're going to all get to each individual knob and control and slider later on in the course. But kind of just showing you around here a little bit. We have an arpeggiator, which is really nice over here. Some amplifier pannings, kind of stuff like that for different modulation purposes. And on the right hand side, we have two effect slots. And in each slot, we have a choice of five different effects that we want to use. And as you can see, we can always double up. So we can use two courses back to back. So course number one will feed into course number two, so on and so forth. And that course has different types. So there's a lot of different possibilities we can mix and match with a synth and all of them sound really, really good. And sometimes in different types of modules, we have different revisions. So for this filter right here, we have revision one or we have revision two. So we have different filter banks, but also in those filters, we have different types of that same filter, if that makes any sort of sense right there. So there's a really cool concept behind this. Not only do you get five, but you get quite a lot of different synths and you pair that with different envelopes and the sky's the limit for that one right over there. A cool thing that they added, and I think more synths should do this in the future, is adding an oscilloscope as part of the synth here. Because if we press a note, we can see the waveform that we're doing. And we can see how cool it is because none of these waveforms really sound the same every single time. And we're going to get into why that is and how that's controlled and all that a little bit later on throughout the course. So what's nice about it is it's a very simplistic, straightforward design. We have our oscillators, we have our filters, envelopes, LFOs, tuning master stuff, some arpeggiator stuff, amplifiers, and then our effect. It's pretty basic, pretty easy to use, but it just sounds so, so good. And you might have noticed the skin looks a little bit different. And I got the skin from their website, I believe. And it was one of my favorite ones. It didn't change it too drastically. I just kind of like the look of this one a little bit better, a little bit darker, kind of bluish, whatever it looks like. I think this one looks a little bit nicer on my eyes. So moving on from that, I do want to say one of the downsides, perhaps, is that it is CPU hungry. So if you kind of have a potato machine, it's not really going to run very well. But keep in mind that they did add multi-core, which kind of helps it function a little bit better on your computer. So if you have like an i5 and i7, it's really going to benefit from that. And then also down here on the accuracy settings, you don't have to keep it on divine or great. You can keep it on draft while you're making a patch or while you're in your session, if you're overloading your CPU or something like that. And then for the offline, you can select best. So at the end, once you're exporting your song, it will render on the divine settings sounding even better. So Diva is divine. That's really the, the takeaway from this whole video here. Now, if you look on the website, currently it's priced at 179 euros, which it might sound steep for some, maybe not, but that's really a pretty cool price to have a digital representation of all these different analog synths. And we're going to go over which one's modeled and which one's all that later on, but you get these five synths mixing and matching. So 179 euros is not really that bad of a price. And I believe personally, every product from Yuhi that you will get, you won't be disappointed because they just sound really, really good, especially the filters. It's, it's unbelievable how happy I am when I got this uh, synth here. Same with Hive. It's a very cool one too. If you're kind of looking for a good sound like that, but just a lower CPU usage, Hive might be something that uh, might be a little bit more your speed. There is a demo version available, so you can go on the website and download the demo version and kind of play around with it and see if you like it before you decide to buy it. And I promise you, if you do play around with it, you're going to be like, I need to get this right now. And you're going to feel your wallet dancing out of your pocket. 
So aside from that, this is basically kind of an introduction showing us around a little bit. We're going to start getting more into the course and we're going to go over every module, knob, slider, all that kind of good stuff. So by the end of this course, not sure exactly how many videos at this point it's going to be, but I believe at the end of the course, you're going to feel very familiar within, within the synth and be able to make some really cool patches and make your music a little bit better than it already is. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.